Hello, welcome back to Crafting in Quarantine with Arts Etobico. My name is Marianne Verstappen and today we're going to be melting crayons to make little abstracts on glass and on metal, metal tin lids like this. And it's super easy and really fun and really playful. So I hope you enjoy it and um, let's get started. So you're going to need a baking tray. Um, you're going to need some parchment paper, just ordinary baking parchment. Uh, you're going to need some crayons. And um, these are ordinary Crayola crayons. And for the one, the colors that you've picked, you might want to just um, tear the paper off like I did with this one here. Um, now you can use, I've got some just ordinary metal jar lids, or you can also use a piece of glass. Um, now I have a bit of confession. I broke this piece of glass transporting it. This is just a piece of glass from inside an ordinary little photo frame. And it's great if you have the frame. Um, I had one, I only had one and it's broken. So I'm going to show you on the broken part, but please don't use a broken piece of glass to do your art. I'm sure you have better than I have at home right now, but that's what I have. Um, most some glass, some um, photo frames have plastic instead of glass. You can normally tell just by scratching it. It makes a different noise. Plastic is slightly warmer than glass to the touch, but most photo frames still have glass because it's a little bit cheaper. So this won't work with anything plastic, but it will work with glass. Turn the oven on to 350 degrees. You need to heat up your jar lids or your glass one at a time. So just put them on the parchment paper and put them in the oven when it's hot. Take it out of the oven when it's been in for about four or five minutes. Choose three or four colors that you think will look good together. Silver and gold are especially beautiful. You need to work quickly while it's hot because it cools down. Make sure that you go right to the edges. I'm going to put this back in the oven now to reheat it. So I just reheated it in the oven. So now I can cover up a little bit more. And I want to hang this on the wall when it's finished. So. I'm going to make sure I'm just covering up all the white because it's good to have a few layers. I love how these crayons run together. They're really beautiful. They make such nice colors. Should I add some more silver? I'm going to add some more silver. No. That, that needs to go back in the oven now. I want to try this on my piece of glass.
Okay. Okay, so here's how my tur mine turned out. Um, so now I have three of these little lids, and I think they would look beautiful just on a wall or something like that. See if I put them against the fridge. Um, oh, I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit over. Maybe I'll like put some magnets against them and make them into fridge magnets. I think that would look really nice. Um, so the other thing I have is the shard of glass. And I think it turned out beautifully. Look at that. Um, so I, you saw me put it in, I put all the color on it and then I put it back in the oven for a little bit longer, um, just so the colors could run into each other a bit more. I was really excited about how I thought it would look on the reverse side and it doesn't look quite so interesting, um, but I love how it looks on this side. I think it's an amazing abstract. Um, not too different to like how poured painting effects look. And I just think I love it that I did it with a $3 packet of crayons um, with a bunch of different colors. So I hope you try this at home and um, you can buy, I was at Shoppers Drug Mart last week, earlier this week, and um, they have crayons there for $2.50, which is a pretty good deal, I think. And I hope you can try this at home and I would love to see pictures if you do and stay safe and stay home.